Last weekend, the 2011 Fall Guam Art Exhibit, or GAX, was held. Sponsored by Docomo Pacific, DNA Evolution, Midpack Distributors, and Outrigger, various artwork using various mediums were showcased. About 25 local artists came together, from photographers and painters to graffiti artists and sculptors. According to GAC's curator and coordinator, Josh Agerstrand, there has been two official shows. We've just been trying to build the scene and trying to build a contemporary, you know, art culture on Guam. And, you know, I think there's just a, there's like an atmosphere where people didn't really feel welcome. They didn't feel welcome in Kaha or they didn't feel welcome in the, the big shows that everyone has. And uh, most of these artists hadn't been exhibited anywhere before. Most of these people, it's their first art show. And uh, we're just trying to find a place to build a community and, uh, for these artists who feel like, you know, a little outside of everything else. Over the course of three days, hundreds came out to view an exhibit which highlighted artwork from inspiring and passionate individuals, many of who have other jobs, and art is just a hobby of theirs. For John Bermudez and Clarissa Torres, who have artwork displayed, collaborating on a popular piece called 82 proved to be therapeutic. Uh, we were both going through hard times. <laughs> uh, we both got uh, dumped. <laughs> yeah, or pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, so the, the, the tape piece is about um, just trying to get over people in our lives that are no longer in our lives. 82 is a unique piece because it allows the audience to get involved. Being able to move the tapes around continuously changes the art. John says comic books inspired him to get into painting. I couldn't get enough comic books. I just, uh, I loved them. And I tried to emulate the art and uh, I started getting into painting once I started college, and uh, from there I just I just needed it to, you know, get my head straight sometimes, you know. Art was a way for him to channel any emotions and a way to deal with what was going on at that particular point in time. Among his art pieces was a portrait he painted of Clarissa, who he says helped him get through a rough patch. We were both uh, going through a really turbulent time, and. Uh, it just seemed like uh, meeting her really saved me. For Clarissa, sketching and drawing was a hobby of hers throughout middle and high school, but she stopped once she graduated. It was then she eventually picked up photography, investing in her own camera. For most of my most of my my pictures, it's more of the moment. If uh, I guess I like to try and capture the happiness of the moment when it comes to other people. For the more artistic shots, she says she went against the grain, pushing what most people were comfortable with. For the portraits of myself, that's more personal, personal emotions that come out. And, uh, I do try and incorporate art into it. She stresses that you don't need all the expensive equipment, rather an eye for what you want to capture and what you want the audience to feel. It's more, I guess, like the saying, it's not, uh, it's not the sword, it's the swordsman. If you know how to use it, then, then it'll come out the way you want it to. With the amount of talent the island has to offer, I'm sure we can all expect the next art exhibit to be just as amazing.